So far, no one's been arrested. A district judge said no today to the lawyer for cop killer Michael Astorga. So now he's going directly to the state Supreme Court to try and get what he says he needs for the death penalty phase of Astorga's trial. The defense attorney claims there are two key issues he must be allowed to put before the jury. News 13's Ian Schwartz is here with that. Dick, Gary Mitchell says he has new evidence that will prove his client is innocent in the murder of Bernalillo County Sheriff's Deputy James McGrain five years ago. Michael Astorga smiled at his family as he walked into court shackled in a yellow jumpsuit. He was joined by his lawyer Gary Mitchell, who argued against the state's request to ban any arguments of Astorga's innocence during the death penalty trial tentatively scheduled for a month from now. There shouldn't be a restriction placed upon one's ability to present new evidence. Mitchell says he has new DNA evidence and witness testimony that will prove his client didn't kill Deputy McGrain. That issue has been decided. It was decided by the previous jury. Mr. Storga is guilty. Judge Neil Candelaria agreed, saying the death penalty trial is not the place to retry the murder case. Candelaria also ruled that Mitchell can't use the state's 2009 death penalty repeal to make a case against death for Astorga. The Supreme Court already ruled that Astorga is eligible for death regardless of the repeal because he killed McGrain three years before the law went into effect. Mitchell wanted to tell the jury the state is trying to squeeze one last death sentence in because Astorga's case is so high profile and fueled by strong emotions. He says he will appeal both of today's ruling to the state Supreme Court on Monday, asking them for guidance. There's no case law on it. There's no idea about how you're supposed to proceed in these unique situations. Mitchell says he isn't confident, though, the Supreme Court will rule in his favor. He says appellate courts do not like to decide cases in advance. If the death penalty jury sentences Astorga to death, Mitchell does have an option to appeal that decision. Back to you. All right, Ian. District Attorney Brandenburg says a pool of 900 people will be called for jury selection in the penalty phase. She hopes to start that in about a month. Some pretty